So I'm mixing up the strawberry cake for the strawberry rhubarb pie. Now you can use um, just a box um, cake mix, a strawberry cake mix. You could use um, yellow cake mix, white cake mix. You could make it from scratch. It's all going to be good. But I had a, a strawberry box cake mix, a Pillsbury in the cupboard, so I thought I'm going to use that. And I took some rhubarb out of the freezer and it's defrosting. And so I'm just going to mix that up. Of course, I'm using some farm fresh eggs to go in the cake mix. This is a really easy recipe. So for every two cups of rhubarb you have, you want to put one cup of sugar. Now when you defrost rhubarb, it's always going to be juicier than if you're just slicing it. It won't make any difference at all. So I'm going to dump this in the 3 by 13 by 9 pan first and then the cake mix. So it's in the pan. Now something I do that other people might not do is I am sprinkling some oatmeal in there. So it gives me more of a crisp on top. Now if you didn't want to use the sugar with the rhubarb, you could use brown sugar, you could use um, some honey, and then the cake is going to go on top. And it's all going to cook. It's going to cook for about 38 minutes at 350 degrees. And I'll show you when it comes out. It's just a quick look before it goes in the oven. So it's got the strawberry cake mix on the top, then oatmeal, then the rhubarb. So I've just taken the cake out. Um, I actually cooked it for 10 more minutes, so it took 48 minutes. And I think it was because the rhubarb was so juicy and I didn't want to have the cake not done all the way. But you can see the different layers. And I'll let that cool and then I'll cut a piece so that you can see it when I flip it over. And what you can do, of course you could frost this top part, you could. But most of the time it's a matter of letting it cool and you flip it over and either put ice cream or um, whipped cream on it. It's really nice if you serve it warm, but it's still tasty even if it's cold.